Hey what's gonna guys Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr Zebo welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial So in this video we're going to be learning to make different fake transitions inside Adobe Premiere Pro So without any delay let's get started Alright, so I have a couple of videos in my project. Let me drag both the videos to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created with that video settings. So we'll be creating a transition between these two videos here. In order to do that, I'll first go to the FX panel and in the video transitions, I have a folder called dissolve and you have different fade transitions here. So the first thing that we'll use is the dip to black effect. So I'll just click on this transition and just drag this onto our video just like this. Let me zoom in so that I can give you a clear idea on what's happening. So I can click on this transition and I have different options here. So I can align the transition to start at cut so that it appears something like this. And I can also change this to end at cut and I'll just make this center at cut for now. And you also have the option to change the duration here. You can change it to one second or two seconds from here. Or you can also drag the transition like this in order to increase it. So this is what the dip to black transition does. So your video gets faded out to black and then it fades in from black like this. So you also have an another transition called dip to white it's pretty much same like dip to black just that it it will start fading out to white and then fades in from uh, white like this so the other effect that we're going to apply here is the additive dissolve so i'll just drag the additive dissolve onto our videos and you can see that you know there is this you can see that there is this transition happening here in such a way that both the videos are blended in linear dodge add. So I'll just show you. You can just duplicate this and if I change the blend mode to add, you can see that there is this kind of additive blending happening between both the videos and that is what is happening between these two videos that you have here. All right. So another effect that you have is a non-additive dissolve. If I just drag this onto our video, you can see that, you know, it does not use the add blending mode. Instead, you, you get this, you know, double exposure effect here. If you know what double exposure effect is, you get this kind of effect while blending the two videos. And the two things left is the cross dissolve and the film dissolve so they act pretty much the same way so i'll drag this cross dissolve between these two videos and i'll hit ok and now you can see that the transition is happening just like this but one thing you can notice is that the second video is paused for a few seconds let me just increase this so that you can have a clear idea on what's happening. The second video is paused for a while and then continues. So in order to fix that, this is what I'll do. I'll just move the topmost video to another layer and just bring the bottommost video a, a bit forward like this and then add the cross dissolve effect. So once I do that, you can see that these both videos blends in in a very smooth way just like this and another transition that we have is the film dissolve transition it looks same like the cross dissolve transition except for the fact that the way premiere pro takes the colors of both the videos and then blends it i'll just research it on the community and provide more details in the description and the last effect that we have is morph cut effect. It is basically not a, a fade transition. It's just uh, you get some clumsy transition. Let me just show you how it looks. 
So this is how the Mafka transition looks like. Premiere Pro does some analysis and and blends both the videos something like this. This is not a fair transition but it is under the dissolve folder. So you can use one among these different transitions so that you get a fade effect and it all depends on your requirement. I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.